Hey perverts, I'm Tommy Purr, the Sin City Kitty, and it is Tuesday on the Rogue Toys YouTube channel, which means it's time for another edition of Tommy Likes It, the talk show where we talk about toys that interest me and toys that I hope interest you. Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho ha ha ha. Originally for this week, we were going to review the Foot Soldier from Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. However, we received new product in our stories that we felt was more important to take a look at since people were waiting for that product. So the Foot Soldier is on the back burner for right now. No. We will circle back to him eventually. Do not worry. But today, this week, it's all about The Drowned from DC's Multiverse Toy Series by McFarland Toys. Retailing at $23.99 on the RogueToys.com website, as well as in our stores in Portland, Salt Lake City, and Las Vegas. Uh, the Drowned is basically Earth 11's version of Batman. On this, uh, okay, first of all, you can see clearly it's not a Batman, it's, it's Batwoman, basically. That's because on Earth 11, all of the characters are gender swapped. So Batman, Bruce Wayne, is Batwoman, Bryce Wayne. Sylvester Kyle is that version, uh, is that Earth's version of Selena Kyle. And instead of Martha Wayne, we have Martin Wayne. So that's basically the gist of that Earth 11. Um, the Drowned is someone who becomes the Drowned when she, Batwoman, goes crazy and kills that Earth's Aquaman which is Aqua Woman. <laughs> then she bio-engineers herself to become an Atlantean, almost, and steals the trident, goes crazy, drowns most of the world, and then tries to invade our Earth. I know, it's a lot, but the story is really, really cool when you read it yourself. <laughs> and the artwork is nice, too. For mint on card collectors, the box is what you'd expect from DC Multiverse, nothing has changed. Window on top, window in the front, window on the side, logo on the side, artwork on the back. And the artwork is really, really nice, I gotta say. So check out the comic books, artwork is the same, the uh, story is actually fascinating and it's really, really cool to see just such a, a badass one, uh, badass Wonder Woman, a badass Batwoman, you know? Not to say that our Earth's Batwoman isn't cool. Uh, I just like this dark, scary, gothic, like really, really creepy Batwoman. So let's go ahead, let's open up the box. Let's take a closer look at the accessories, the articulation, and the paint applications, shall we? So here is the Drowned out of the box and on the set of the return of the April O'Neil Show. I know some of you have been asking about the return of the April O'Neil show, um, and you liked the setting a bit more, and some of you stated that you liked seeing close-ups of the figures in video, so I'm going back to that a little bit, and I appreciate the feedback, so thank you guys so much. Uh, now that things are a bit more organized on my end, it's a little bit easier to set everything up, which is nice. But with that being said, <clears throat> We're gonna dive right into the figure, and I'm sorry, I just had lunch and I have something caught in my throat, so I apologize if I keep coughing. <laughs> I promise it's not COVID, it's just me um, having something stuck in my gullet. <laughs> but anyways, the figure stands seven inches tall, which is um, pretty standard for the DC Multiverse toy line. And the figure looks amazing. Uh, I love the shadings of the greens and the grays and the blacks and the uh, just the overall aesthetic of the figure. She is hauntingly beautiful. I love the face, I love the hair. The outfit is great, and I do love this seaweed tutu motif going on here. Um, the strap here on the thigh, that is all molded on there, and there's a little uh, a little holder there for her too. And it's all molded on there. It's not just painted on there like some companies would do. Articulation-wise, it's pretty much the same what you would expect from the DC Multiverse Toy Series. So you have, <clears throat> You have an ab crunch, but it's kind of hindered by this uh, by this rubbery corset piece, which trails off into the hard plastic breastplate right there. You have arms that can go up this high from the side, and then they can go all the way around when going up and down. You have double jointed elbows. You have a bicep cut. You have a wrist pivot and a wrist joint, and I hate this wrist joint. The reason why I hate this is because why... Are we doing it like this? Why? The joint should be inward, so her hand could be like 
you know, she could do like her Doctor Doom pose, you know? No one ever does this with their, no one, no one realistically does this with their hands. They do this or they do this, you know? Spider-Man, Doctor Doom. And um, I hate that. I hate that. The same issue is uh, relevant in the Marvel Legends Jubilee figure. I absolutely detest when they do joints like this. Um, let's see here. Um, but on the plus side, you know, double jointed elbows on a woman. Hello. The head can go all the way around, but you have some hindrance from the collar of the jacket. Um, but then again, do you really need her head to go all the way around? No, you don't. She can kind of look down, but she can't really look up because the hair gets in the way. It hinders that. The legs, you have double jointed knees. You have an ankle joint, which I love. So an ankle joint and an ankle pivot. And um, let's move it. there we go. Ta-da! And then you have the toe joint. There you go. You don't have a thigh cut, but you do kind of have like the ball jointed thigh. So it can kind of like, you can kind of move the leg around that way. Uh, there you go. Legs can go out that far. Legs can go that high up for a kick. Kind of hindered by the tutu. And then it can go this far back, which I really, really like. But yeah, just a closer look at the, the boots here. You have this wonderful fish scale effect, which I love. And then you have the same on the jacket, which is more understated with the, the scaling. There we go, move this, there we go. And it's really nice. And again, the shading is great. The necklace looks good. That choker looks like it's painted on. And just the face, she's hauntingly beautiful, which I really love. It's creepy. It's uh, very, very gothic, so very Gotham City. And the hair has beautiful black and green wash all the way through it. I just love it. And I love the cowl as well because I love these little ears. I love the short ears on the Batman cowls. So it's very nice. And of course, as always, you get the DC stand. And you get Aqua Woman's Trident. And I love the, the shine on this and the paint. It just looks really, really nice. Really well done. And, of course, you get a trading card. And there's the artwork that's on the back of the box. <clears throat> and let's read what it says, shall we? Uh, la, la, la. Source, Batman the Drowned, number one, comics, 2017. Real name, Bryce Wayne. Height, 5'11". Weight, 180 pounds. Bryce Wayne of Earth-11 harbored a deep hatred of the Atlanteans for their role in the death of her beloved Sylvester Kyle. In a quest to avenge Kyle, she spliced her DNA with that of an Atlantean, becoming a superpowered dark knight called the Drowned, capable of breathing and fighting underwater. Now, I just realized something. Is it Earth 11 or is it Earth negative 11? I actually think it's Earth negative 11. I am so sorry. Um, there, if it were Earth 11, there would be no uh, negative sign next to it. Duh. I just thought it was a dash to like differentiate whatever. Uh, I'm stupid. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's Earth negative 11 because, um, A, it says so. <laughs> but also because it's supposed to be like a negative multiverse where everything's really bad. So, negative 11. My apologies, everyone. Earth negative 11. So, speaking of numbers and negatives, though, where does this figure stand on the perfect 10 scale? On the scale of a 1 to a perfect 10, I would say The Drowned is a 9.5. And it's a 9.5 because I absolutely hate those wrist joints. And when they they don't do the Doctor Doom Spider-Man type wrist joints. Um, I hate when it goes from side to side and not up and down. I think it really just is it, stupid, you know? I, I don't like it. So it's a 9.5. Everything else is really amazing on this figure. The shading of the trident, the uh, shading on the skin, the outfit, the, the rest of the articulation is actually pretty nice. And I love that it's a really obscure character and it's getting some love and some attention. Uh, if this were the line that was made by Mattel originally, we probably never would have seen the Drowned as a figure. So this is really nice because it continues to show that McFarland is not um, afraid to take ch chances on obscure characters and not afraid to try something new and try something different and didn't recycle a whole bunch of tooling or molding or parts. He basically just continues to crank out figures with entirely new bodies and entirely new details and I love that. 
but unfortunately that wrist joint does keep it from being a perfect 10. I hope this review helped you guys determine if you want to purchase the Drowned or not. Again, you can check out RogueToys.com or go into any of our physical stores to go pick up your figure today. And as always, with that being said, this concludes another edition of Tommy Likes It. And just remember, if you're out and about in the world, keep it classy, keep it catty, and we will see you next Tuesday. Be sure to also check out the Rogue Toys Facebook page and tune in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to check out the Facebook Live Claim Show starring the toy experts Crystal and Steve. And finally, follow me on social media. You can find me on Twitter at rareform, R-A-W-R underscore form. You can find me on Instagram at the underscore man underscore diva. You can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash officially perfect and if you'd also like to purchase tommy per merchandise check out my store on storefrontier.com backslash merchandise and once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed making it be sure to stay catty and we'll see you next tuesday